In this video, we are going to solve a few questions on integrated rate equations. So let's look at the first question. It says, the decomposition of hydrogen peroxide follows a first order rate law. If the initial concentration of hydrogen peroxide is 0 0.150 molar and after 40 minutes its concentration decreases to 0 0.095 molar, then what is the rate constant? We also need to figure out the time taken for the concentration to decrease to 0 0.050 molar. So how do we solve this question? Well, it is given that the reaction follows a first order rate law and that means to figure out the rate constant we need to use the integrated rate equation for a first order reaction which is nothing but AT is equal to A0 into E power minus KT. It can also be written as ln of AT is equal to ln of A0 minus KT where AT is the concentration of hydrogen peroxide at time T which is 40 minutes. A0 is the initial concentration of hydrogen peroxide, K is the rate constant and T is the time taken. Okay, so let's use the information given in this question and substitute them in this equation to get the rate constant K. So the information given is A0 is 0 0.150 molar, AT is the concentration of hydrogen peroxide at T is equal to 40 minutes is 0 0.095 molar and time taken T is equal to 40 minutes. By substituting these values in this equation, we get ln of 0 0.095 is equal to ln of 0 0.150 minus k into 40 minutes. And on solving this equation, we get the final value of k as k is approximately equal to 0 0.0114 minute inverse. So this is the rate constant of our first order reaction. Now, how do we figure out the time taken for the concentration to decrease to 0 0.050 molar? Well, you know the value of K, we know the values of AT and A0. So, all we need to do is use this integrated rate equation again and substitute these values here. So, let's look at our integrated rate equation again. And on rearranging, we get T is equal to ln of A0 by AT into 1 by K. AT is nothing but 0 0.050 molar and A0 is the initial concentration which is 0 0.150 molar. Okay, So by substituting these values in this equation and by solving them we get the final value of T as T is approximately equal to 96.4 minutes. So it takes about 96.4 minutes for the concentration of hydrogen peroxide to decrease to 0 0.050 molar. It was a pretty straightforward calculation, right? So let's look at one more question. So it is given that the following plot of log A versus T is obtained for the reaction 2A forms P. Now the concentration of A is decreased to 1 20th of its initial value in 60 minutes. We need to figure out the value of the slope. So basically we need to figure out what is the order of the reaction and which integrated rate equation accurately describes this plot. As you can see here, the log of concentration of A varies linearly with time and it also has a negative slope. Now this is characteristic of the integrated rate equation for a first order reaction which is nothing but log of AT is equal to minus K by 2.303 times T plus log of A0. Now if you assume this as an equation for a straight line we can see this as Y is equal to MX plus C where Y is log of AT, M is the slope which is minus K by 2.303 it's a negative slope as we can see from the plot. Now log of A is plotted against time in the x-axis and log of A0 becomes the y-intercept. So from here you can see that we basically need to calculate the value of slope which is nothing but minus k by 2.303. So let's go ahead and see how to find out this value, okay? Now from the question we can see that AT is nothing but 1 by 20th of its initial concentration which is A0 by 20 time is 60 minutes and by substituting these values in this equation we get log of A0 by 20 is equal to minus K by 2.303 times 60 plus log of A0 and by rearranging this equation and solving it we get the final value of minus K by 2.303 as approximately equal to 0 0.0217. 